Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to Veil Overview. Yes, I already played the game, <laughs> as you can tell by my face. It's like one thing all VR players have in common is this circle of life there. <laughs> and I wonder if it's happening with other headsets, because if I remember correctly, PSVR 2 doesn't, so maybe just to identify the meta ones. <laughs> So Veil vale is a multiplayer action shooter game where there's not much to say <laughs> because the backstory or whatever is almost non-existent like it's basically betting on its gameplay, simulation and the mechanics of all. I will say that the whole project seems very professionally made in terms of the interfaces, UI and stuff like that. There isn't really any tutorial going on besides some basic explanations of the controls so you have to have some kind of idea already with the shooter genre. The graphics and art style seem rather mediocre for the quest capabilities, at least for the third one. With few stuff interesting going on, for example like the pretty much the most realistic sky you'll ever see in VR. It's a progression based concept, meaning while you play you unlock the weaponry and just features of the game, so it's not like you pay for it and then already have everything unlocked. In terms of the core gameplay, it is rather solid comparing to the older titles like that on the store. Not something outstanding or groundbreaking, but it's just polishing the things that we've already have been done seen here. <laughs> I hate the holsters and their interactions because they interfere with just picking stuff up and the colliders don't make sense at all because you'd think you pick a gun but you actually take the rifle which in chaotic situations is kind of unacceptable to have mistakes made like that. The resolution on top of that in the distance you can tell it is grainy and you can still see certain stuff but it's not of a high quality. <laughs> in total I perceive this project as a good release however it's not up to my style really because of the heavy push for the rifles of any kind and not much variety in other kinds of weaponry. So in my eyes it's kinda catering to a very specific type of community that enjoys tactical shooters like that, but for me I kind of prefer a more variety. Let's go to the gameplay. Hmm. Those textures seem a little bit off. Like they're trying to be as realistic as possible. And the sky is moving. Which is... Jesus, I will fall. The most realistic I've seen in VR? I'm pretty sure this is like a 360 video or something. Because <laughs> it's impossible as a render. Interesting. Definitely settings for me. Seems so peaceful. So this game was in development for some time, but now it's like pretty much ported to Quest. Oh, there's favorite rendering going on. I don't like the resolution from the distance. What type of games and resolution nowadays? Like, almost every single one has very low settings. Ew. Get off me. Are you obsessed about cats or something? But yeah. The resolution is garbo. Where am I even? Is this like a center hub for me? Wait, what the? <laughs> Oof. The position of the holsters is rough, especially with the interactions, like, it needs to be highlighted in order to pick, but 
I could pick a gun here, even though my hand is on the rifle. Oh, there's no slider. Okay, there is. <laughs> The sounds. I like the counter next to the site. I mean, this seems accurate, so. The grabbing is going to be a problem. Okay, let's just go to the game. You just straight to the action. Nah, my head I did. I did. I did not know definitely shit. I mean, I think it's fine, but I'm still like getting lag spikes every two seconds. Mm. Yeah, what? I gotta turn off all the crystal turning. That shit kind of scared me for a second. What the fuck? I just teleported. I just teleported. I don't trust that. It's a team that much. Oops. <laughs> I won't kill anyone today. Oh god. It's speed. Yo, he just fucking jump scared me the hell out of me right there. Yeah, so how do you know I'm there? I'm a pistol person. Who could it be now? Da -na 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 -na. Who could it be now? Da -na -na -na. Absolutely not. <laughs> Peace and quiet, that's what I like, because I was just distracted. But my gameplay is not about rifles really in shooters, like it's not what I like. I would prefer to change it, which I can't now. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is very like in your face game. Ah, with unlockables. But still, not for me. Like, I'm a shotgun gun person. And there won't be anything like that. I mean, it's here, but... Literally just one. So what's this hundred? Thing. Like it's constantly there. <laughs> I'm trying to be in Resident Evil with a knife. The models look fine.
Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sure I'm spending more time in the death section rather than the actual gameplay. I hate the collisions. How many shots I need? <laughs> What's this? Cool. <laughs> Lovely. I guess this is the developer. <laughs> I don't like that they can kill you on spawn. I'm out of here. Yeah, it's just not for me really in terms of the shooter taste. I will say that I like the whole UI. It is very dynamic and you need some kind of knowledge about this genre already. Because it literally throws you into the blender with not much guidance, but then again, you don't necessarily need if you understand the mechanics. I don't like that I can't change my loadout, but I see the custom button, so I suppose it's gonna arrive here later on. So it's like you need to play a little bit in order to unlock stuff, which depends what you prefer. This hundred is, I think, half, but there could be way better implementation because it's just in my face constantly. And I hate the collisions in terms of the holsters and stuff. Like, it can get very hectic during the combat. But this is it, really. Like, we have just custom games, loadouts, and preferences. For 30 bucks, like, this seems kind of steep. Textures and environments are a bit in the middle ground. The gameplay seems rather solid to me. Maybe some lag spikes or frame drops, but maybe that's due to the release. So at the end of the day, it's pretty okay. It's just not necessarily my preference as a project altogether.